Good afternoon and welcome to the studio live here from Doodarshan Kendra Aizol. Uh, today we will be discussing about the present scenario of media and connectivity in the Northeast, basically media education in the Northeast with special reference to the IIMCs all over the Northeast. And uh, we would like to explore the options for the youth, how it will benefit the youngsters, the whole culture of the Northeast, uh, be it in a field of uh, career, in the field of development for the government itself and for the culture, the people of mm, the whole of the Northeast. So to discuss all that interesting options, I have here with me Dr. Mrinal Chatterjee, Regional Director, IIMC Dhenkanal, and also Dr. C. Lalmuan Sankimi, Assistant Professor, IIMC Northeast Campus, Aizol, and L.R. Silo, Regional Director, IIMC Northeast Campus, Aizol. So these are our very interesting panelists and uh, we will be discussing a lot of media options today. And so without much further ado, <laughs> I will start shooting my questions, right? So uh, you uh, have been very uh, highly experienced in the field of media, I, I suppose. So what do you think is the present scenario of media and communication in Northeast? Media in Northeast, particularly and mm -hmm. generally in India, yeah. is at a very exciting point, point. both technologically mm -hmm. and uh, in other, uh, any which way you look at mm -hmm. it, we are at an exciting time. Yes, yes. Technologically, we are at a turning point because everything is moving towards digital mm -hmm. and, and that provides you a lot of opportunity mm -hmm. to experiment. Yes. Uh, Industry-wise, it's growing. The latest figures tell us that uh, media is poised for further growth and it's, the growth is very healthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, with elections coming up mm -hmm. and uh, the development agenda mm -hmm. on top of every government's mm -hmm. priority list, media is at a point of very exciting mm -hmm. uh, possibilities. Okay, all right. So, uh, Mr. Silo, what do you think, like from a local point of view, let's say, like the scenario in Mizoram? Scenario in Mizoram, I think we are media conscious, mm -hmm. but we have, we are still lacking professionalism in mm -hmm, the mass media. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of opportunity for both print media, mm -hmm. broadcast media, mm -hmm. and digital media. Mm -hmm. And we are in for all this, but I think we need to be mm -hmm. trained properly in this regard mm -hmm. anyway. Okay, so what do you think, uh, uh, particularly to you, uh, mm. now with the social media coming up, you mm. know, like the mm. broadcast media, digital media mm. coming yeah. up a yeah. lot, uh, mm. do you think that the print media is suffering? <coughs> it is suffering, but uh, strangely, I think our small newspaper are still surviving somehow or the other mm -hmm. because of the high literacy in Mizoram. Mm -hmm. I think we're still in for a print media, newspapers, mm -hmm. like magazines. Uh, both magazines, mm -hmm. both in the in our church. Mm -hmm. I think the, the organs of the different churches are still circulating in large number. Okay. And also the local papers are, however, limited editions are there, mm -hmm. but they still do speak at the, at the pulses of the people. Yeah. I mean, that uh, debate has been quite yeah. uh, old so, now, yeah. I mean, print versus television mm -hmm. versus uh, digital. Mm -hmm. I mean, every uh, segment has mm -hmm. its own space in media ecosphere. Mm -hmm. It's a different issue that presently the growth rate of uh, print is slower yes. than say television mm -hmm. or say digital. Yeah, digital. But uh, I guess print media will be there in India, particularly Northeast mm -hmm. for another 10, uh, 15 years. So you're still hopeful. And, uh, uh, I mean, it is, it mm -hmm. will be there. And after that, probably the way we engage with print will be there, but uh, the platform will move towards digital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I think it also depends on how you romanticize print media. You know, a lot of people yeah. are like, you uh, know, like the smell of a new book, you know, the you, you, if you touch a paper, you know, all that, all that. Yes, so <laughs> people of our generation, we mm -hmm. still romanticize, we of still course. love to read, read uh, print yeah. media. Mm -hmm. But the next generation, mm -hmm. 
uh, this generation the, uh, basically the next yeah. generation <laughs> what do you say y or k yeah. or or z yeah, generation z, y generation whatever. z whatever <laughs> so the next generation probably will love to engage with the digital platform mm -hmm. and especially on mobile platform yeah. right yeah. It's so it's happening right uh -huh. so media content mm -hmm. uh, if that impacts the content then there is a concern mm -hmm. but it doesn't uh, impact the content and mm -hmm. the way content is given to to mm -hmm. the next generation it's okay well yeah there is also an ecological issue as well you know like yes yeah, paper and the that. distribution cost mm -hmm, of course so uh, paper cost distribution mm -hmm. cost ecological cost mm -hmm. you factor all these yeah. print media is a distinct disadvantage now, now yes. but the way we engage with print media for depth and for analysis and mm -hmm. all if that could be given in digital platform Platforms. then it's okay it's a yeah. win-win kind of a situation brilliant brilliant so ma'am uh, what, what are your thoughts on that scenario and where are we right now uh, the media landscape is ever changing and it is very difficult to mm -hmm. give a concrete answer this is right and this yes, is wrong yes, of no, uh, so it is we are still observing it mm -hmm. and it's such a fluid uh, Absolutely. yeah sector I mean mm. like it, like you said it's it's mm -hmm. very fluid it moves around a lot and then it's very difficult to pinpoint a particular you know mm -hmm. pros or gone for that matter so and you're talking about northeast mm -hmm. in northeast uh, media came fairly early I yes. mean, it's not that <coughs> uh, northeast lagged behind in in starting uh, mm -hmm. media yeah. but the problem of uh, northeast has always been the the connectivity yes yes and uh, the population mm -hmm. the scale yes yes and if you do not have the scale media business doesn't become lucrative yeah, the market enough. is smaller yes, the ma market is very mm -hmm. small that has been the problems with uh, Northeast, but mm -hmm. with connectivity increasing and people's mm -hmm. urge to know increasing, mm -hmm. I'm sure. I mean, Northeast yeah. I will guess, have a media explosion uh, in when it in comes to media explosion. Consistency is very mm -hmm. important, mm -hmm. and like with, when we talk about media right now, mm -hmm. you need to have a very consistent internet. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So all that. So there, there can be a lot of hiccup in the consistency, and so mm -hmm. once you have consist, you don't have consistency, mm -hmm. it becomes a little difficult for it to bloom. But now mm -hmm. that, with development, I think uh, media is blooming uh, as it should be, like you know, in a very slow space though, as compared to the other part of the country. Mm -hmm. But we are there. We are getting Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I mean, to look at the media growth in the last ten years mm -hmm. in the northeast. Mm -hmm. I mean, on print, or television, yes, uh, digital, yes. in every sector, mm -hmm. uh, Northeast media is growing at a very mm -hmm. healthy rate. Yeah. And that uh, brings us to the point of media education. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Though media education in Northeast mm -hmm. started uh, about 50 years back. Yes. So you, in you fact can start from that. Yeah. Uh, How did it start, the, media education in, in the fact, Northeast? only last year, Kuwati University. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, celebrated the golden jubilee of their department okay. that is where the media education in north is mm -hmm. started mm -hmm. and then gradually it moved to other places other universities mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. now almost all major universities do have media departments all right all right so like uh, and on top of that uh, indian issue of mass communication has a presence now mm -hmm. i mean for the last uh, nine years mm -hmm. that we are here mm -hmm. from 2011 Probably Mr. Saido yeah, will so talk about that. Uh, uh, that, the IIMC here, yeah. how, how did it all started? It all started way back in, actually that was 2008, mm -hmm. um, from the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. I think okay. it was during the time of Ambika Soni. Mm -hmm. A letter came to the government of Missouri, mm -hmm. uh, which says that we would like to start IIMC in Mizoram. Mm -hmm. So the state government should give us, should give them a land. Mm -hmm. okay. So we are looking for a land. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was, we look everywhere, government land, mm -hmm. but uh, it was very difficult to find a suitable land. Mm -hmm. So we requested the university. At the time, Mr. Benjamin and Mr. Rai mm -hmm. were in the hands of affair, Rai mm -hmm. Chancellor Rai and mm -hmm. Benjamin, and Chief Minister Pulal Tanhola requested if they can spare, uh, firstly, if they can spare a plot of land to build our campus. Okay. So they have agreed as to uh, give seven acres of land. So the process began. And not only that, to immediately start mm -hmm. 
mm. the campus, mm. they give us a one building mm -hmm. which is vacated by the mathematics department of mm -hmm. the university. Yeah, yeah. And so we start, I think I had two days to begin with <laughs> for preparations of that one. <laughs> so we started in 2011 mm -hmm. and soon after we started, I think we also provoked the department of uh, mass communication of the university, which is not functioning, mm -hmm. but they were having staff and professors. Mm -hmm. So they also followed us. Okay. And so we were born almost together. All right. And since then we have been having a very good working relations with the Department of mm -hmm. Mass Communication. And mm -hmm. only yesterday we had a joint uh, lecture on Mahatma Gandhi as a communicator and mm -hmm. editor right. uh, presented by Mr. Minal Chatterjee. Mm -hmm. So that is how it began. Now I'm glad to say that our 20 crore uh, new campus building is wow. almost completed right. and we hope that in the next one year or so we should be able to function <coughs> there. and when we do we'll not be will not be having only now we have a diploma course in English journalism we should be having other courses like advertising and public relations and right. yeah, televisions beautiful. and other things we are also envisioning that it could be also a center for training of officers of various of departments. Of course, of course. I will, I will break you there because yeah. uh, that is what is the need of the hour. Absolutely. Because, uh, see, in, uh, yeah, uh, election has just been announced, uh, by yeah. the way, so <laughs> we are barred from naming politicians, actually. Yeah. So, But then, of course, there are some things that you can't help with. So for the, uh, on that point uh, mm -hmm. about training, if I think uh, now that the government is trying to digitize everything, even in a government mm. functioning, I think a lot of officers, even staffs, need media training. Mm. And so what are the kind of media training do you think that government officials, you know, like uh, teachers in schools, in colleges, mm. in educational institutions, even, uh, you know, in the economic sector, I mean, economy sector, like in the market mm. and all that, what kind of media awareness do you need yeah. is needed yes I uh, that's very important mm -hmm. and in fact the Indian Institute of Mass Communication yes. was born on that concept yes. it is a training institute for officers of the uh, Government. information and broadcasting yeah. so Not only information India. Yeah. Yeah. third world countries oh. on the third world Colombia and mm. in the third world plan oh, and in fact I had done my basic foundation course in 1975 when I just entered service okay. <laughs> and that is my foundation. Right. I wish all the officers of the department uh, have that and we do uh, go there but it is not always possible for officers to go there. So what I did during my tenure as a director was that we used to bring faculty from Indian Institute of Mass Communication Center have a three-day training also here in ISO. Mm -hmm. We did that several times. Okay. How now, effective was it? Oh, it was very effective. At least, in fact, when we started this center in ISO, mm -hmm. we had four officers, isn't it? Okay. Officers attached to us for three months. Mm -hmm. And I think they found it very useful. All right. And so you were catering only in your department, I mean, in the department your department, the INTR department. Yeah. You were only catering to mm. people from that no, particular no, no, sector. No, 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 no. IAMC mm -hmm. provides. No, I'm talking about his previous. At the moment. Yeah, at the moment. At the moment. Yeah. In IJOL, yes. In IJOL, yes. yes. Mm. But IAMC as a whole, mm -hmm. we provide training to various uh, sectors. Uh, sectors. Like yes. we have a course for um, even armed officers, mm -hmm. we have a training program, communication training program mm -hmm. yeah. for senior armed officers, right. like police officers. Mm -hmm. At Dinkanal, where mm -hmm. the center that I am presently heading, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, conducted uh, programs, training, communication training programs, mm -hmm. media training programs mm -hmm. for senior agricultural scientists, all right. wow. railway officers. Mm -hmm. I guess all sectors, all sectors of needs to be government, catered, yes. they need to understand and appreciate the importance of media. Uh, media and how do you engage with media and media persons. Mm -hmm. Yes, This is what every one of them need to appreciate. Mm -hmm. of course. And thereby they can uh, more easily disseminate the information that they have mm -hmm. for the public. Yes, yes. See, that is very important because the media persons are the bridge you know, they, they are the bridge between the yeah. officials and the public. And in yeah. doing so, like, there are a lot of mishaps. 
that happened even in India, you know, where yeah. like uh, media has been projected in, in no, not in a very nice way mm. uh, along the way. So how do we prevent that? Because we, are, the public, are hungry for information all the yeah. time. We yeah. need to have, like, especially with the digital media surrounding us, we need to be informed first and foremost all the time by yeah. the minutes. We yes. need to know everything. So how do you cater to that? How do you cater to that this, gap? This is important uh, for everybody yes. in all parts of the country yes, and sir. especially in Northeast, mm -hmm. which is insurgency prone. Yes. And not uh, us. which is no, I mean, I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Northeast. Yeah. Mijaram mm -hmm. is an honorable exception. Yes, it's a yes. very peaceful we will come state. To that, yeah. We'll come back to that. Yeah. And probably that is why we are here. Uh, yeah. IAMC yes, is yes. here. Definitely. We want to spread the, the sense of peace and peace tranquility and, to mm -hmm. other parts of the country, yeah. especially to the northeastern states. Mm -hmm. Yes. Coming back, yeah. uh, the, the, the requirement for engagement with media mm -hmm. is there for general public, mm -hmm. for government officials, for everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, with the digital technology coming, mm -hmm. And uh, with the with the ubiquity of uh, social, yeah, media, social media, this fake news mm -hmm. yes. is is creating a menace. Is I has know, become a menace. So what we need to do from institutions, reputed institutions, credible institutions like uh, Indian issue of mass communication, mm. we need to spread awareness about digital what we call digital literacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people should be made aware mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. this, made aware about fake news. Yes. People should uh, be educated. Thankfully, yeah. there are organizations which have woken up to this uh, requirement and mm -hmm. they are doing that. Mm. But I guess more needs to be done in this area. Yes, yes. Because and it's so fast and everybody is catching on without any proper awareness. So you cannot tell people uh, to buy a mobile phone uh, before. You know, like you need to educate them and then only buy a mobile phone. So Absolutely. you cannot do all that. You, you, you don't mm. have the capacity to do that. So on that note, how, how do you, like in your institute, like when you teach classes, is there a proper paper for that? Do you have? Yes, we do. Like Sir has said, uh, the course that is offered in IAMC is professional in nature. Mm -hmm. So we cannot confide ourselves to theory. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, practical and theory are given yes. equal importance yes, yes, so that course. the students are industry ready. Mm -hmm. And given uh, the ever-changing media landscape, mm -hmm. uh, the syllabus need to be updated, updated. On, regular ba uh, on regular how, basis. How many, on, on, on a stretch of how many years do you update your syllabus? Every session. Every for session. every session, there we will get a new syllabus. Wow. And for example, if we take an, um, an example from the print media, mm -hmm. Uh, for newspaper layout making, mm -hmm. if quirk is commonly used in the industry, mm -hmm. and we will teach the students how to make newspaper layout with quirk express, mm -hmm. and if there is a switch over to uh, Adobe in design, then mm -hmm. we will teach them same with. Um, so you need to update yourself in design. With all exactly. that, the, yes. even the faculty needs to yeah, absolutely. update themselves absolutely. because every yeah. semester, every semester, new syllabus new digital applications coming up, then I think mm. all the other Not only technology and skill part, mm -hmm. conceptual part. Conceptual, I mean, there are yes. new things coming mm -hmm. up. Yes. Like, say, for example, this fake news. Mm -hmm. I mean, fake news has always been there. There, yes. Mm -hmm. you know? When, when news started, along with that, fake news yeah. also started. Yes, I mean, yes. it has a very long history. Yeah. But right now, from the time of Chinese But respect. now, thanks <laughs> to the technology, yes. one can create and disseminate fake news at a global scale very mm -hmm. easily, mm -hmm. which was not possible in earlier times. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. Yes. Now, we have to catch up with that uh, concept also, and we need to engage with those concepts in that level. Yeah, and then try and counter the mm -hmm. fake news or Absolutely. whatever. Yes. So, and we give importance to research and practically speaking, mm -hmm. it is not possible to write not even a single news article without some sort of research. Mm -hmm. So we stress on research yes, and yes. like I have said, we wanted uh, the stu all the students to be industry ready so that uh, on, upon completion of the course, mm -hmm. 
if they are given any kind of job or uh, any task assigned to them. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, they, we don't want them to learn on the jo job. Mm -hmm. They should be industry ready. Okay. So see, a lot of importance is today given to entrepreneurship, basically. So mm -hmm. your courses are all industry ready, entrepreneurship mm -hmm. ready. Yes. Yeah, so how do you do that? Like, how do you insert entrepreneurship and the, the awareness that you need to be, you know, a part of this entrepreneurship culture? Yeah, and so. There are two uh, ways to do this. Mm -hmm. One, you make the students industry ready. Yes. You give them the, the skill set the skill that the set. industry requires mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Yeah. And the second, you try to make the students media entrepreneurs, mm. which is possible now. Yes. Gone are the days mm. when starting a media, so for example, starting a print uh, unit, a mm. newspaper, yeah. used to be a very costly affair. Mm. But you do it on web, it's not very costly very affair, and yeah. somebody can actually do it. Yeah, from the comfort of your home also. Absolutely, from the comfort of your home, mm. and with uh, less capital, yeah. you can do it. Mm. So what we do, we teach our students also the media entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. While we have a paper, we call it media management. Mm -hmm. In media management paper, we also teach them how do you start your own startups. Yes, startups, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is how we try to train our students. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. For example, yeah. one, uh, two of the students mm -hmm. who had learned how to make blog, website and all, mm -hmm. they went into a travel uh, uh, profession. Mm -hmm. So they have a website called Discover Northeast. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they also uh, arrange event management. It's all, they're all related. Mm -hmm. They also uh, uh, make an arrangement for uh, guiding tourists in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. And also they have a 10 houses. Mm -hmm. Whenever like Hornbill Festival is there, mm -hmm. they go the whole lot. They also escort registered people and guide it for mm -hmm. uh, trekking and other things. So, so they sell their things through the website and blog. Yes, yes. And also provide the facilities for traveling mm -hmm. and connections like mm -hmm. that. Once such two uh, alumni of the institute, mm -hmm. they combine together mm -hmm. and they have even brought uh, tourists to ISOL. At the whole oh. So it's kind of a media entrepreneurship. It starts from That's media all. entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. then it weaves into mm -hmm. other, other areas. Yeah, other, of course, of course, because now everything is digitized and mm -hmm. everything has become about yeah. entrepreneurship. Because Absolutely. how, 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 what kind of jobs can the government offer anyway right yeah. now? Huh? So uh, employability is important. Mm -hmm. So basically, you try your best to make your students industrious, mm -hmm. industry ready, employable, mm -hmm. and entrepreneurs yes. basically that's so, the idea yeah so on that note uh, digitization media and communication is basically a global topic because mm. from the comfort of our home we are able to reach to the global you know uh, market mm. and right now for that you don't need to be belong to a certain group of people you don't need to belong to a certain ethnic group mm. and then we have the IIMC all over the Northeast uh, students coming from the Northeast, I mean. Mm. So we have a regional uh, center here in Aizol. Okay. So why Aizol? Because it is the remotest part of the Northeast. She is basically. the best person to answer that. Uh, why it's the remotest part, but it is the most peaceful part of the Northeast. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. I mean, uh, that is one. Mm. And also the climate is good. Mm -hmm. Yes. And accessibility at the moment may not be as good as other places, mm -hmm. but that may be... That hiccup uh, is very We can turn yeah. that into advantage. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a vision, not only people from the rest of the country come, mm. but we also expect people from the South Asia to come and train here. Mm -hmm. Because once there are multimodal these things, that will be connected to the rest of the South Asian countries. Yes, yes, so there is a great uh, opportunity for marketing this mm -hmm. there. And he was mentioning about the training of the army mm -hmm. personnel. Mm -hmm. We have in Delhi at the moment courses for lieutenant colonel and above, brigadier and above. Okay. So all the specified, yeah, specified, training. and the promising <laughs> army officers mm -hmm. are selected there for training this, right. because basically. In times of war and peace, mm -hmm. communication is so important. All the time. Even in the last recent incident mm -hmm. that we faced with Pakistan, you know how important the media is. Yes, yes. How our generals and 
army spokesman did it. Mm -hmm. I think you must have seen the press conference by the chiefs. Yeah. I think they could have done better if they were properly briefed. Yeah. Media aware. Yes. Yeah. Another thing why I joined is, mm. uh, as we are looking at it, we need to uh, position India as mm -hmm. a global superpower. Yes, yes. And communication is a very important part of mm -hmm. uh, that power structure. Yes, yes. So Mijaram is there because it's location strategically located closer to yes, other countries country. in Northeast. Mm -hmm. Lots of neighbors. Lots neighbors, of neighbors yeah. who can come here mm -hmm. and we can provide them communication training. That will uh, also uh, bolster our own image mm -hmm. as communication, uh, communication mm -hmm. trainers. Mm -hmm. Right, yes, that's yes. one. Mm. Uh, and therefore you will appreciate that uh, Indian Institute of Mass Communication has six centers all over the uh, country. Six centers? Yeah. Oh. Of Aijol, mm -hmm. Northeast, mm -hmm. Denkanal, Odisha mm -hmm. is the Eastern India Eastern campus. Mm -hmm. We have one in Kotaim, Kerala, Kerala. that's the Southern yeah. India yeah. campus. We have in Amravati, Maharashtra, oh, that's the Western okay, India Western. campus and Jammu. Jammu, Jammu in uh, JNK, yeah. that's the Northern India campus. Mm -hmm. So we are spread we over… Have one in Delhi. Delhi is our yeah. mother. It's a mother. It's, a, okay. it's, it's the a headquarters. Mm. So uh, you'll appreciate that we are we are there in all, in all parts, parts of, of the country. country. And Aijwal Center and Denkanal Center mm. and probably Kotaim Center. Yeah. These three centers are adva have added advantage of uh, location. Oh. Denkanal Center is close to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Aijal Center is close to Burma and other uh, northeastern uh, mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. So we can have students from there. Yeah. And that is our vision. All oh, right. So the Probably media and communication people five, think of years. every little detail. Yes. Huh? <laughs> and we have a modern <laughs> institute in Delhi, in Delhi, which has been there for the last more than 50 years. Oh. 65, uh, we had set up uh, Delhi. And yeah. Delhi, from the beginning, mm. they attract uh, mid-level journalists from developing countries. Mm -hmm. And we have a course yeah. uh, for mid-level journalists across the world. Mm -hmm especially yeah. the developing countries. Okay. Yeah. When I did my course in 1975, mm -hmm. we have people from Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Africa, mm -hmm. and Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Even Latin America. And in Thailand and Latin America. Mm -hmm. So right. it was a very good community at that time. Yes, yeah, very cosmopolitan. And we, of course, yeah. from the Northeast, uh, are there a few of us were there. And it was a good experience in that crowd. I think they're still continuing that uh, yes, mm -hmm. course also. I think that is very much needed, mm. the, the, the cosmopolitan factor. Mm. So right now here in Aizol, uh, the Aizol Center, uh, what kind of students do you get? Do you get enough students or? Well, I must say that I do not get enough students, oh. especially from the Northeast. That mm. is the reason why we are here. Okay, one of the reasons. We to tell yeah. okay. people that they mm. must come. Now, we have been having students eight, six, seven, and this year we have only four, and that you all from outside Mizoram. Right. I think we must kill this general fear amongst us mm. for an All India Entrance exams. Okay, so you get students to All India Entrance yes. exams. Yes. And Aizol is a centre mm -hmm. and they can sit here mm -hmm. uh, very fortunately. Mm -hmm. And another centre for the North East is Gohati, no? Yes, sir. Yeah. Gohati. So actually people from this centre do not come here even if they qualify. Most of the people I have here are from the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. Last year I have people from, uh, mostly from Delhi, mm. and then also uh, Bengal and mm. Assam. Mm. Like it's that. good that people from other uh, parts of the parts country, of the country are they are coming That's here. Good. We are having this pan-Indian mm -hmm. presence, yes, but, yes, but, but mm. we must also have students from this, this area. Yes. Yes. See, you need to know your advantages Absolute, and yeah. I think, uh, so what are the other steps you have taken? This is very important. How do you, you uh, know, promote the institution locally? You see, unlike uh, corporate, we can do, not do much of uh, selling as other institutions do. Mm -hmm. But I Maybe have been I telling authority mm -hmm. that Ministry of Information is there mm -hmm. and we should make use of all our facilities mm -hmm. to sell these yeah. uh, campuses. Shameless so that, selling yeah, yeah, that <laughs> needs to be done. Uh, no, that, because I think that we need to what do. we cannot do. I mean, uh, uh -huh. uh, being a government do. body, we cannot uh, do what the corporate bodies can do. Right? Uh -huh. yeah. 
But having said that, uh, yes, there is a need now to promote ourselves, mm -hmm. to position ourselves, because to make people, the student community, yeah. aware that here is a of center. Course, of course. Here is a center with all facilities and with all good uh, faculty members mm -hmm. and uh, we can provide best of media education. Mm -hmm. So instead of going to other places, they yes, can pretty course. well come yeah, here. But that saves you so much energy and Absolutely. finances and all that. Yes. Of course, we will do again. At the beginning, we did go to Isol College, for instance. Mm. Uh, at you the time, they were having a career, a career uh, <laughs> Yes, a career uh, seminar or something. Yes, yes. We spoke there and we mm -hmm. tried to sort of persuade students to take mm -hmm. to this course. Because I think we must target the English department of all the colleges in ISOL yes, to yes. Uh, even other students yes, also yes. Uh, to, to students. be interested in this in our little way. Yes. That is what we probably can do in the next yeah. few, in the next weeks because mm -hmm. entrance what uh, we are trying to do is to position it mm -hmm. as a pan indian institution, yeah, institution yes. mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. we will have students from across the country mm -hmm. yeah. but mm -hmm. focus mm -hmm. will focus, be northeast yeah, focus yeah. on the station focus will be northeast yeah. not only mizoram yeah. mizoram particularly yes because yes, it's, it's, located yeah. Here, yeah, it's located here, here. but entire north northeast. northeast we will have research studies mm -hmm. on northeast we will have needed. yeah We'll have training programs mm -hmm. for uh, government officials mm -hmm. connected with communication mm -hmm. at uh, uh, our centre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is why we have, okay. mm -hmm. that's what we have in our vision. Mm -hmm. Because we live in a digital uh, era where mm -hmm. everything is done on a social, uh, I mean, a media platform and then communication is becoming so fast, you know, you just, mm -hmm. everything is here at the click of a button. Money is at the click of a button, you know, like, news yeah. from across the globe is at a click of a button so you just click and you get everything so why don't you just you know like uh, do something where we yeah. can you know like be aware of the institute yeah, at the click of a button yes, sure. right uh, <laughs> that reminds me of a dialogue from a james bond film <laughs> right <laughs> somebody says ki now we can do everything uh, wearing our pajamas in our yes. bedroom mm -hmm. and the James Bond he comes up with an answer mm -hmm. but at the end of the day you need somebody to, to pull the trigger yeah <laughs> so that to human communication mm -hmm. that one-to-one yeah. -one communication mm -hmm. the way you can engage with your students while they are there mm -hmm. I can see through their mm -hmm. eyes I can I of can course. watch them and they can ask me questions then and there Genuine I mean emotions are involved. Absolutely, genuine yeah. emotion, and then the transfer of uh, knowledge, knowledge happens yeah. so beautifully mm -hmm. when th you are face to face. Yes, yes. I mean, technology is all right, yeah. and probably we no, are I'm only suggesting getting dependent for the awareness. You know, like for the promotion of the institute. I mean, yeah. Yes, we yes. Uh, we think we are going to, uh, doing mm -hmm. that yes. in a very big way at this time. Yeah, yeah, because it needs to. Absolutely. I think yeah, I with entirely the, yeah. with, with you walk with the time. You know, I'm, I entirely yeah. agree. So how, how much seeds do you have at the institute right no, now? At the moment, we can take even up to 15 students. 15? 15 students yeah. okay. at the moment. Okay. But when our campus is full, then of course we can take more. And then Why so not? What, what, what are your vision? Like uh, right now you are teaching journalism basically, right? Mm. You're preparing them from, yeah. yeah. And then in the future, what are the courses that you would like to? Yeah, our visions are this. One, of course, presently we have this diploma, postgraduate diploma course in English journalism, mm -hmm. which is a combination, a little bit of all the yeah. media. Mm -hmm. uh, now, sp for specializations, we have a course in Delhi, mm -hmm. advertising and public relations, which is in great demand in the public sector. Mm -hmm. And then we have also radio and television. Mm -hmm. Then. What else we have? Of course, the language are there. Probably we can even think of having a, a journalism course in Mizo, mm -hmm. which they have in Oriya and ah. other regional languages. Yeah, regional yeah. languages. Yeah. So yeah. Regional yeah. languages yeah. also. That is That's the thing. And then since the place is good, and the fact that we have also <coughs> after insurgency school yes. in Vairengte, mm. probably the army training the army. can also be shifted here. Absolutely. So. Uh, a lot of, of possibilities of, are there. Yeah, a lot of possibilities. See, for example, uh, recently we, we all come to know that the workforce in Mizoram is, mm -hmm. you know, like 
more, more of women, you know, like women are contributing more to the economy. So like we have a lot of women vendors everywhere in the marketplace, in the shops. What That's the first thing that an outsider like me, we notice. Yeah. Yes. So is there any possibility for you to help them in like, you know, media awareness? Yeah. In the institute, like not just the government officials, you know, like yeah, you know, we can have okay. small training programs. Yeah, yeah, that's short courses, you know, with, like short with courses. Government bodies or even NGOs, yeah. we yeah. can have yeah. training programs. Or disaster, programs. for instance, uh -huh. disaster, disaster communication management. disaster. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because notice, for instance, we are so prone to yeah, disasters disaster. of all kinds. Yeah. So for that, communication is very important mm -hmm. that we can do. And the health sector. Yes. Yes. There are so many, so many. campaigns that we need. Actually, a uh, lot of possibilities are there, but at the moment, we cannot think of that because of the facilities we have is limited and the mm -hmm. staff also. Health communication Otherwise, is one area yeah, one which area I guess uh, Mijaram Center will definitely take will up definitely, in future. Yes, yes. Because uh, Mijaram is malaria prone, the mm -hmm. entire Northeast, there are several health problems. Yes, yes. And uh, IIMC has devised a course mm -hmm. on health communication oh. in association with uh, UNICEF other universities, yeah. UNICEF yeah. and other, oh, other yeah. universities. Okay. So we have a dedicated health communication uh, module mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. Probably when uh, the facilities come up mm -hmm. next year, hopefully, mm -hmm. then maybe we can have a uh, short course short on health course communication yeah, from that is from important IJOR. Anyways, oh, yes. yeah. And then it's the need of the hour also Absolutely. globally yeah. because everyone's health conscious yeah. now. And then, yeah, I think uh, it is for any institution or for, for any sector, I think, uh, you know, connecting to the grassroots is important. That is why I suggested if, you know, like, uh, like uh, the minority, the women or even the young. Now, unless an yeah. institution gives back to the society directly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is no need of an institution. Yes, yes, an yes. institution yeah. is built for two purposes. One, enrich the knowledge domain. Mm -hmm. And second, do something for the yes. society. Yes, yes. Unless you are doing practically mm -hmm. something for the society, then what are you doing? Yes. I mean, that's our mandate. Yeah, yeah, mandate. So uh, you have 15 seats and then you're not getting enough students, you were saying, so yeah. that, uh, but then, of course, again, uh, what, see, because the institute, about your particular institute, I came, I became aware of it quite late because all we heard is the mass communication department of Mizoram University, yeah. you know, so I think we were confused in a way because, and then you live in the same campus, uh. <laughs> so my bad, but, uh, uh, what is the difference between your institution and the mass comm oh, department? There's a lot of difference. Yes, because we, we need to We do to not know. confer degree, mm -hmm. we confer diploma. Diploma. But we make our students ready for job mm -hmm. uh, in the field as yes. set. So that is, that is, I think, the main difference. Mm -hmm. Yes, the main uh, difference are actually three. Mm -hmm. The first is we are more uh, skill Oriented, that's yes. number one. And number two, we provide more hands-on training. Mm -hmm. And number three, we have a greater uh, knowledge pool mm -hmm. from where we get our resource, resource persons. persons. Okay. These are the three major uh, what differences. All right. So uh, yours is a diploma, but they are more ready for the world, basically. Okay, yes, yes. 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 And so, how long is the course like? Yeah, we we begin in uh, we, we begin in April. No, ma no, no. August. 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 We begin our courses on August. August. Yes. We end our course in April. April, April. next okay. year. Yeah, All right. April. Entrance test is in May. Okay. Entrance test is in May, okay. and so uh, the advertisements. You will have the entrance test this May again. May. Yes, and the advertisements will be out by end March or max by early April. Yeah, April. immediately after the exam, mm -hmm. the second semester exam, mm -hmm. they will go to Delhi for a 15 days inter, uh, 15 days uh, placement okay. for night. After the examination? Yeah. Okay. So I think he will be able to tell us what our placement for okay. night is. Before the placement, mm -hmm. let me uh, go back to the entry level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of, uh, what, are, what are the criteria to, you know, like get admission? Graduation. Uh, graduation. Any we field? Any field. Mm -hmm. Uh, but look up, we are looking at students who are A, interested in media, mm. B, they have some understanding of, of media, media. Yes. right? And in the entrance examination, therefore we have, uh, we have it open for mm. 
Oh. Any discipline. Mm. I mean, we have students from architecture, from mm. engineering, from mm. medicine, yeah. well, to commerce, through so. MBA. Mm. I mean, yeah, any, all disciplines. Mm. In the entrance uh, test, mm. we actually look for three things mm -hmm. in the prospective candidate. Mm -hmm. Number one is his or her command over language. Yes. That's number one. Mm. Number two, the general awareness. Mm. What's happening around him or her? Mm. What's happening in this country? What's happening internationally? I mean, th there should be a general awareness yes. about what is happening. Mm. And there should be a kind of an urge to engage with news yeah. and issues. Mm -hmm. And the third thing that we look uh, in our candidates is a general thinking ability. Mm. Is he or she capable of thinking mm. independently? Yeah, very that important. thinking, logical, analyzing mm -hmm. power, whether it it's has it or has it. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the three things that we look. Okay. Uh, so do you, do you do online admissions? No. You don't Till know. date, we are not doing online. Okay. Till date, we are uh, having our examination. Like you have to sit down and uh, write. Okay. Even the applications. Uh, application application has has interview. To be done through interview online. is there at Delhi. Okay. Mm. They have to go through the interview, personal interview. Uh, in After Delhi. they clear the uh, written uh, test. Written. Oh, okay. So applications can be sent online? Yes, that's On right. what app website? www.iimc.gov.in www.iimc.gov.in So I think... <laughs> the audiences are clear about where you can get your application forms and submit right. them, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the uh, applications will be open by the end of end March of or March. the beginning of April. That's right. And then your written tests will come in May. End yeah. of and May. Then, yeah, end of May. And then if you are through the written test, you can have uh, an interview in Delhi where you yeah. have to go yourself. Yeah. So these are the procedure to That's right, get yeah. into the IIMCs right. everywhere in the country. Very nicely yes. put. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, also, the website will provide mm -hmm. all other information. Yes. Yes. In yes. regard, even the the Exam question pa papers. Question yeah, papers. Question papers. Previous all, years. All, all question papers. papers. Yes. Yeah. yes, very important here yeah, because mm -hmm. these are how you prepare students in colleges and any other institution yeah, for that yeah, matter, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So then we are admitted to the IIMC That's and right. then we've got our courses <laughs> and yeah. we've come out with flying colors. Yes, so yes, yes. placements, let's talk about placements. Uh, we organize a centralized uh, placement mm. in Delhi. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately after the second semester, second and the final semester mm -hmm. examination is over. over. Right? It's about two weeks So uh, you, you have separated it into like sectionize it into two semesters. Yeah. Like the whole Our course, course is yes, two semesters. Two semesters yeah. Uh, after the second and final semester, mm -hmm. about two weeks campus placement. Mm. It's a centralized campus placement in which students from all uh, centers, mm -hmm. they do participate. All right. And in there, about uh, last year, about 80 media houses, mm. they, they participated in, in the centralized, oh, centralized uh, campus, campus placement. Recruitment, yeah, placement. And then the students can appear mm. and they are taken. Okay. Almost uh, uh, 70 to 80 percent of what, our students. Uh, in, uh, for, for your state, like uh, for Orissa, what for is Orissa, the rate of uh, we placement? We have another uh, campus, we organize another campus placement mm -hmm. for mostly mm -hmm. for Udia language journalism oh, students. Okay. But these days what happens, there are media houses mm. who probably primarily require Udia uh, journalism Speaking, students. Yeah. But they have also, mm. you know, channels scattering to other languages. Yeah. All right. Let's say, for example, ETV Bharat or G. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are moving into regional mm -hmm. languages. Mm -hmm. So when they come there, they can also pick up students from other languages. Uh -huh. Okay. So that yeah. happens. But the centralized campus selection takes place in Delhi. In Delhi. So how, what about our status? I mean, like the regional institute. What about the placements? They go there. They go no, there. No, I mean, like. Uh, oh. Your students in particular, oh. I mean like last the ones that, yeah, last year. Just tell someone. So uh, we prided ourselves with uh, the placement that we have uh, got so far. Okay. And uh, some of our How previous many students, students. so far anyway, from the uh, time of inception till date? About uh, around for 30 to 40 of 30 them. 40 they right. have been placed in reputed institutions uh, like media organizations like PTI, Press Trust of India, oh. Microsoft UK, oh. New India Express oh. and... Uh, Indian Express online then Dudarsan yeah. across India mm. and news ahead. 
All right. So almost all of them have got placements. Yes. Oh, through yeah. the fortnight yeah. placement organized by IMC. Yeah. Yeah. So how, how do you send them to Delhi? Like, do they have to go on their own expense? Because yes, yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, these are important things that they mm. need to know. That's Just, right. you know, how student life huh. is. <laughs> Although the students, Mizu students who had been studying here mm -hmm. in IIMC, mm -hmm. I just wanted to mention, mm. one is in All India Radio, okay. another Varte is uh, oh. Irene, Ah. Maria okay. is there, and here in Duda San Sankimi, the first batch, I think she's working here in some production here. Uh -huh. Another one is in Vanglaini, uh, uh. like that. <coughs> okay, so all of them have like properly placed. They got something. Mm -hmm. yes. oh, As I told you, you know, almost 70 to 80 percent of our students mm -hmm. get, get placement, placement from the campus itself. Mm -hmm. And rest of them get within, say, another two, two, two months, three mm -hmm. months. Almost we have a very good uh, campus placement. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, Doodarshan also takes two of our students mm -hmm. are now in Delhi. Uh, they the first batch and the third batch, isn't it? The, the first and yeah. the yeah. Two the of them are there in the Okay, whichever batch it is, it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. They got doesn't a job. <laughs> they, they are there, yes. <laughs> they are placed. Yeah. Uh, I think the audiences also needs to know because if you're not aware of the IIMC, I think this is the in thing. You know, like, yeah. uh, because mm. jobs are rare these days. Yeah. Everybody is looking for a job. Because even if you no, get into... No, 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 no. Jobs are not rare. Not rare. Okay. Jobs are scarce for people who do who not have the required skill set. Skill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you Let's have skill set, yeah. jobs are waiting and for when you, you're choosy, When you're choosy. Because ah, yes. if you are choosy about your jobs, then, you know, it becomes a little bit difficult. Yes. So if you are interested in media and communication, I think the IIMC is the place to be so that you will be sharply skilled mm. for any kind of placement that comes your way. That's right. Right? That's right. And you don't need to go anywhere. Mm. They'll just come to you. The uh, jobs will come to you. Basically. Yes, yeah. I guess uh, that is the that is how we train our students. Yes, yes, because I think uh, the IIMCs will uh, probably, I mean, like uh, be more popular uh, if you have uh, more, you know, like uh, collaborations with normal institutions. I mean, like academic institutions, general institutions, like colleges. Like you said, we have a lot of colleges here in Mizoram, and mm. I think, uh, you know, like if you come to yeah, our colleges, you know, like uh, do an awareness, you know. We have a lot of students who are interested in media and communication. And I don't think they are aware that we have something I of this. I entirely agree with you. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. entirely agree with yeah. you. We because need to be proactive in that yeah. area. Yeah, because awareness is Absolutely. what needs to Absolutely. be done everywhere. And then look, the, the, the attention span of the youth is so short these days. Because in a recent, you know, talk with uh, people from Facebook, I heard that like uh, when they scroll their social media pages, they don't even spend a single second on a single picture. It's a nanoseconds that they spent. They scroll, 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 scroll. Mm. So even if you come this year, I don't think they'll remember you the next year. Mm. You know, so. Yes, uh, <laughs> that is why probably we have to be more proactive. I mean. <laughs> proactive. <laughs> yeah, because Aggressive. Sir. I think they need to be reminded every now yes, and then I that, okay, so. like wave, we are here, come here I, if you're interested. I guess you know, so. I guess so. These are the things that. But one good thing is happening in the entire Northeast mm -hmm. is that more and more departments are now offering, more and more universities are now offering, you know, mass comp courses. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel that we are uh, at a disadvantage mm -hmm. because other uh, you know departments are opening. It's good for the general uh, mm -hmm. media ecosphere mm -hmm. that more trained people are coming to, into media, okay. and that is good for the entire media yes. health. Mm -hmm. So, as IIMC, as a national institute, mm -hmm. we are here to provide direction. Yes. to the media education media education yes. in, in, in the entire country mm -hmm. what should be the vision what should be the the, the way that media should be media education yes. should move forward mm -hmm. we are mandated to have this kind of vision and this kind of awareness to other institutions yes, of course. which that is are what, offering yeah. media courses. Yes, that is exactly what I was saying because that's how you prepare them also. Absolutely. Because I think your job is to prepare people for media and communication basically Absolutely. in any kind of jobs that they might take up, you know, because media and communication always helps people yeah. in any sector for that matter. And uh, again, going back to the basics, because if mm -hmm. people were to get admitted into the institution, what will be the cost? Do you offer scholarships, you know, merit yes, scholarships? Yes, we do. Uh, 
we have a limited number of scholarships mm -hmm. though, but we have scholarships. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it uh, free seeps. Okay. Um, there are number of uh, free seeps for every mm -hmm. uh, specified number of free seeps for every center. Mm -hmm. We offer them that. And our alumni association, okay. they have also offered a lot of scholarships for oh, our students. You must have, you know, like lots of big shed alumni. Yes, yes. We have a very strong alumni association mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they have also offered uh, like scholarships for our okay. students. Okay, you have regional branches and then one yes, at the center. Yes, we have about uh, uh, alumni uh, association uh, branches or mm -hmm. they call it chapters mm -hmm. in about 15 yeah. centers in India and abroad. All right. Okay, so yeah, like uh, see in colleges and in uh, universities, there are a lot of new criteria that the UGC is pushing, you know, like to update ourselves, to update the students, yes. and then skill development is one <coughs> of them, which is very important yes. because like uh, a person, for example, in general studies in academics, a person doing a master, uh, passing out in a first class with no skill, mm -hmm. and a per another person with the same degree uh, maybe like a second class mm -hmm. with a lot of skill mm -hmm. would get employment. Absolutely. So like I think basically when it boils down to it today, it's all about the skills that you carry along with you. Uh, skill is important but along with skill, mm -hmm. you need to have conceptual clarity and mm -hmm. you need to have an attitude. Yes. Uh, journalism wants people, needs people with mm -hmm. right kind of attitude. attitude yes. Because this is one field which, uh, which wants the practitioners to have that kind of passion to engage mm -hmm. with news of course, every day. Of course, yeah. Right. And there has to be some kind of altruistic streak mm -hmm. in them mm -hmm. to go, do good for the society. Yes, that uh, streak has yeah. to be there. And this is one attitude that while you, you do this, uh, te to teach them, yeah. you need to put that in their heart yeah, and their I mind. Think, yeah, I think media, journalism, communication, it takes a lot of integrity for a person to be a part of it. Yes, you know? absolutely. Yeah, otherwise you become very biased because we tend to lean towards. See, for instance, in because that media also include public relations yes, in course. which I have engaged myself mm -hmm. all my life, life and my career. I think sincerity, honesty is the basic of uh, uh, yeah. public, relations. public relations and credibility if you don't have credibility no public relations mm -hmm. but all these are work performance mm -hmm. similarly with journalism mm -hmm. you have to perform it's not just a degree or things mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that but you really have to work hard mm -hmm. and it's only that you survive I have seen in my career a very successful journalists mm -hmm. who began in a humble way mm -hmm. like for instance you would have seen a Media, I mean, uh, quite. He comes quite often in the uh, NDTV, like Nitin Gokhale. Yeah. I've seen him start his career mm -hmm. as a young correspondent in Sentinel. He was just like a high school student when mm -hmm. he came here, mm -hmm. but he rose to that level. Similar with Sekhar Gupta, mm -hmm. I have seen him, and with another one, uh, uh, Chaitanya yes. Kalbak, and mm -hmm. several of them actually started their career here in the Northeast, mm -hmm. because I think the Northeast is a good school for journalists, journalists. because the material is there. Yeah. And similarly with Army Public Relations Officer, they started and then they become quite successful mm -hmm. and they actually take early retirement to do a, a practice themselves. Mm -hmm. There are people who write serials and books on mm -hmm. this thing. So I think that is where as you said, integrity, honesty, mm. and hard work comes into in public relations. Yeah. This is actually my advice. All journalists, all media engage in, the, mm. in this exactly. field. That is the crux of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I recently uh, co-edited one book on Mahatma Gandhi as a journalist and editor wow. with uh, Sri Snayashish Shur. Mm -hmm. so Mahatma Gandhi uh, worked throughout his life mm. uh, as a journalist from the uh, age of when he went to South Africa, mm -hmm. right? from Indian opinion till mm. Harijan. Yes. So what he said, ki journalism is not, uh, not any other you know, profession also, mm -hmm. it's service. Yes. Yes. You, need to, you, need to, you need to be ready to serve Sorry. the society. Mm. 
So what we at IMC in particular mm. and in media education in general, we want to put this message mm. in the education uh, architecture mm. that journalism is basically for service. Yes. You need to have skills, you need to have mm. right mm. kind of attitude, you need mm. to have honesty, you need to have integrity. Mm. But at the end of it, you, are you to serving the society? Mm. Serve them with truth. Absolutely. Mm. That is what mm -hmm. journalism needs to do. Because yeah, a lot of services can be done with fake news as well, like you said. <laughs> uh, that's more, mostly <laughs> disservice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but because it, 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 you know, it still makes the people think that they are being served. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> but it doesn't but they, remain. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, hopefully it doesn't remain at oh. all. So it's very interesting. And then right now uh, we have the, the media serv serving the country. This is the last question. Uh, we have the media serving the country in a very big way. All news are put to us, you know, like uh, every now and then we have fresh news coming in. So how do the public filter truth and lies through media? Two things. Okay. You need to be aware mm -hmm. of the situation, right? Mm -hmm. And second, use your common sense, mm -hmm. which is very uncommon. And mm -hmm. Common, so having common sense is a very uncommon thing these days, mm -hmm. right? So use your common sense. Mm -hmm. <coughs> if something doesn't really feel, I mean, so intuition you, has a, a lot to do. Intuition with and then common sense, common general sense. common sense. Mm -hmm. I can give you 10, 20 Points, examples. Yeah. Suddenly you find some photographs on your WhatsApp mm -hmm. uh, message mm -hmm. that uh, the people of Northeast are being bitten in Bangalore. And then you you start fleeing Bangalore, mm -hmm. right? Stop for a moment, mm. look <coughs> around, mm -hmm. right? See if you can get more information from from places, credible mm. places, and then you can see through truth and falsehood. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like you said, research basically. Mm. Yeah. So what do you think, sir? I totally. I agree. agree with what sir have said. Uh, we need to use our common sense. Mm. If we believe uh, the last thing we see, then there's uh, we have to believe everything. <laughs> there's no? so, so many things to believe. <laughs> so uh, we need to use our common <coughs> sense, mm. and we need to uh, give education on uh, fake news. We need to be aware uh, of what fake news is, and <coughs> more importantly, like we have said, uh, common sense again mm. is important. Yes, yes, that's right. I I agree with both of them. All right. Uh, I wish we continue because this is one of the most interesting <laughs> interviews, <laughs> discussions that I've been in. And I think with <coughs> the media platform coming up in every sector and every place, and then all of us needing to be totally aware of the media and communication, how to use them, how to not use them. You know, these are things that we need to update ourselves every day. And I hope that the IMC have uh, more students so that they can serve the society with truth here in Mizoram and also in the Northeast and also, you know, all over the country. <coughs> so that was uh, <coughs> me in conversation with these interesting people on media education in the Northeast with special references to the IIMC Regional Institute here in Aizol. Mm. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.